Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, March 27th. It's the fifth week in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 143, and John chapter 12, verse 1 through 10. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95. You are God, a great ruler over all the gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. You made the sea, it belongs to you. The dry land to it was formed by your hand. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hear my prayer, O God Most High. Give ear to my cry. Psalm 143. And please recite together with me. Hear my prayer, O God Most High. Give ear to my cry. In your faithfulness answer me. And in your righteousness, heed me. Do not judge me, for in your sight no person is justified. The enemy has persecuted me. They have cast me down to the ground. They have made me dwell in a dark cave, like them that have long been dead. My spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I muse on the works of your hands. I stretch forth my hands to you. My soul thirsts after you like a dry land. Answer me quickly, O Most High. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I trust. Show me the way I should walk, for I lift my soul to you. Deliver me, my God, from my enemies. I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Give me life, O God, for your name's sake. For the sake of your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your mercy, cut off my enemies, destroy them and afflict me, for I am your servant. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hear my prayer, O God Most High. Give ear to my cry. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And there they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. And Mary took a pound of costly perfume, made of pure nard, and anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii, and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. And Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that I might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. And when the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. Here ends the lesson.
And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Jeffrey. For the aged and the infirm, especially Brother Max, Brother Ronald Francis, and Marjorie. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Lawrence and Donna, Brother Joseph Benedict, Brother Ramon Ivan, Brother John William David, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. In your presence, dear God, we find peace, for you are the very source of life. Show us the paths that we should walk, and teach us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.